Hey guys, so this is going to be something rather special. This is going to be a review, if you will, of the um, the packaging of the first Turn A Gundam DVD release in America. Yes, this is the, the actual right stuff release. You see it has that beautiful front and a back. Pretty standard stuff there. Beautiful shot of the Turn A on the back. And a quick description, and pretty effective description actually, of the, the setup for the show. If you want to go into the show blind, which is a good idea, do not read the back. Um, and I mean, it'll be obvious when you start reading it, it's, it's backstory stuff, but this is a show that I think makes uh, works a lot better if you just go into it blind. Uh, popping it open, you'll see it is a pretty standard case with a total of six discs inside. And... Um, Interestingly enough, they use the artwork that was um, specially painted for the series by, I believe, the character designer. Very distinctive artwork there, um, which is actually the same way it was packaged in the uh, Hong Kong bootleg that I own. But uh, you get all of the, the art there, really, really pretty. Uh, very unusual art as well. Um, let see if I can't get a better, better shot of, of those images. And uh, then for the final... That I've tried to keep them up, but you know how discs move around. Oops, you know how discs tend to move around in these box sets. So very, very pretty, and also a lovely backdrop there. You might want to pop that out and take a look at that. It is gorgeous, showing several of the characters in Turn A Gundam. Um, I might just scan that and make a wallpaper out of it. It's fabulous. Um, I've also gone and popped in the the discs, and um, I'll show you here the actual uh, menu art uh, for all six of the discs. So you can get a feel here for what those look like. Very clean, very simple, and very classy menus. And you'll notice that there are no special features on these discs except for disc one, which contains clean opening and closing. Right Stuff did announce that they got the, the interview with Sid Mead that was planned for the original Bondi release of this, but it does not show up on this box set, so I assume it's going to show up in the second DVD box set. Now, <clears throat> I just watched the first four episodes of this. Well, I should say rewatched. I watched Turn A Gundam many years ago through a Hong Kong bootleg. It was the only, only way I could get it at the time, uh, when I just could not understand most of the the subtitles because the translation was just that bad. And by that I mean literally many of the sentences were undecipherable. So I watched the first four episodes on a nice big screen with good audio, listening to that gorgeous Yoko Kano music. And um, this is why I watch anime. This is the kind of show that is exactly what I look for. It is superbly crafted. It is trying to say things. It has important things to say about the human condition. And it does so using an entertaining story and entertaining characters. And by that I mean that there is action and adventure. There is stuff happening. There's conflict. There's a lot going on in this series. But it doesn't just tell a good story it is trying to get things across through a story. I love this series on a deep, fundamental level. This is one of my favorite anime series. It's one of my favorite works of fiction of all time. And re-watching it in this format with this quality of release, it looks fantastic. Uh, right Stuff has done a, an excellent job in both packaging and in presentation. Uh, this just, to me, um, does great service to one of my favorite things of all time. And now with, with this translation, you can walk in and you can understand what's going on. Um, and it, it's, I should also point out, I know just enough Japanese to have a, a sense of some of the, the sentences in there, and they do a remarkably good job of translating this. Not word-for-word -word Japanese accurate, but but accurate to how it would come across in English. 
i.e. there are times when you would use a person's name in Japanese that you would not in English and vice versa. And so they're very careful about that. Um, this sounds natural. It sounds correct. I should point out it is subtitled only. Uh, right Stuff just doesn't usually um, uh, have a lot of, of budget for these things. And so they wisely decided to just keep this subtitle. That's fine. Um, much as I would have loved to have, have heard an English dub of this, I'd be fascinated to see how people uh, handle it. But I can't think of a better presentation for Turn A Gundam. Could they put more stuff in there? Yes. But this was like 30 bucks for 25 episodes of anime. Like $33, $34, something along, along those lines. Um, Well-packaged, sturdy, and, and well-assembled. Um, I am immensely pleased with this, and I'd be happy at twice the price, honestly. I'm, I'm just so glad this is finally here. I, I am, I am, this is important to me. This is one of the things that, that affected me personally, that, that changed how I think about things. Turn A Gundam is, is special and it's important. And I'm glad people can now watch it and enjoy it. And I hope you do too. I hope you, you use, use this as an opportunity to watch and enjoy uh, Turn A Gundam. You may not like it, that's fine. But this is what myself and a lot of people come to, to anime for, is to find something that is, is, and I keep using this phrase, superbly crafted. Um, there's depth, there's complexity, there are characters to um, empathize with, there are situations to think about and to wonder how you would react in those situations. <sighs> this is art. This is fine art. This is what we are capable of as a species. And I know I'm talking about a giant robot series from Japan, uh, a cartoon, but I would put this up there with, with many other works of art as a, a beautiful thing and an important thing. So I hope you're able to watch Turn A Gundam and enjoy it. Um, if not, um, it's worth finding.